Good afternoon, traders. It's Bill Baruch with Blue Line Futures. And it's your daily midday market minute. CPI is cooling, but before I get to it, if you're watching this on YouTube, please click the link below and subscribe. Like and subscribe. If you're watching from our website, there's also a link below to direct you to YouTube, and you can subscribe that way. We'd love you to follow us. We'd love you to help us build our following. Yes, CPI came in lower than expected here across the board, 4.8% on the core number, and you're seeing the, the headline come in at 3.0 when they're looking for 3.1. So that core at 4.8 when they're looking for 5.0, uh, that is, is actually a big surprise for this market. The fear was that core CPI be because of services, because of shelter, was going to come in higher than expected. Now, those numbers alone, shelter as well as services alone, did come in above the three-month trend. However, the big thing is services, less shelter. And that's what the Fed's watching so closely. That decreased by 22 basis points. That's that's really what's powering today's move and risk on. Uh, so it, it's it's actually a terrific thing to see here. You're seeing equity markets come off a, off a little shakeout of, of through the middle early morning, but uh, they're moving back up. You're seeing commodities really take advantage of this. The dollar is getting crushed. Uh, the treasury complex, we've been talking about that treasury complex, looking for capitulation from last week and through the part of a rally of this week and you're seeing the five-year and the 10-year. That's what I've been talking about, the belly of the curve. You're really going to see that. Those are retesting the 21-day moving averages, the breakdowns from June 29th. If we have a, a strong close this week, I would imagine it has good volume, and that would start to really uh, really support that, that capitulation narrative. Um, what we're seeing here in the equity markets, uh, 44.85, really yesterday's settlement area, that previous close as well, um, that was the gap at 44.83. That's going to be the line in the sand. We stay above there. This thing's as the next leg is breaking out. Support in the NASDAQ where it has been resistance. 15,350. And we had that little shakeout from the high, 15,500, where we are down about a, a percent off the highs. That's been support here. So previous resistance is support. We're staying above those levels. We could be building for this next leg. That's what we're watching there. Uh, crude oil holding it pretty good here after uh, the EIA inventory report, though you had a big build of 5.9 million barrels on the uh, on the crude. Um, gasoline was a little bit of a draw. I think overall, good sentiment here. I, I, I think this, this thing is, from a technical standpoint, 76.15 is the high. We're holding out above the 74.5 range and, and looking to build for a close above 75 here. Again, it really what matters is the weekly close here, but those numbers did not derail crude oil from an overall risk on move here. And in the metals are really showing up. They're really shining here today. Gold trading the high of 1965, uh, right into the settlement, uh, head of settlements consolidating here at 1960 overall. Really want to see this high end of, of gold trade, 1955, uh, uh, 57, holding above there. But there's a lot of resistance out at 1970, uh, a lot of resistance in, in silver at 20, uh, 23, sorry, 2450. And then uh, copper is out above the 200 moving average now, 383. Watch it though, but it is hitting a 382 retracement from its high a couple months back. So a lot of resistance here in the metals. It's going to be pivotal to see this move continue into the week uh, close here and get a strong weekly uh, candle. Give us a call. Our team is here to help. 312-278-0500. And remember, futures trading involves substantial risk of losses. Not suitable for all investors.